Tip number one to help you extend the battery life on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Most of these tips will work with other Galaxy devices as well. Head into your device settings, and you'll scroll down until you get to device care. Once you're in device care, you want to head down till you see performance profile. You have two options, standard and light. The standard profile is for striking a balance between performance and efficiency, whereas if you select the light profile, it favors cooling and efficiency over performance. And the cool thing about it as well, if you're in the light performance profile, it has no impact on gaming. And I will say this as well, I've used this for several years now, this isn't a new feature. It has very minimal impact on the performance and you will see extended battery life. So give it a try for a couple days, go back to standard profile and see if it makes that big a difference for you. For this next tip, we're still in device care and this time we wanna tap in memory. Give this just a moment to load up and then scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see an option for RAM Plus. So what RAM Plus does is this uses your built-in UFS storage as additional virtual memory for your device. So on my Z Fold 7, I have 12 gigs of internal memory, so it allows you to cache up to an additional 12 gigabytes of storage. If you're looking to preserve battery life, turn this off and restart your device. And the reason for that is because with RAM Plus enabled, your device is constantly switching between the internal memory and the vCache that it has enabled on your UFS storage. It not only does this for your foreground applications, but it also does it for your background applications and services as well. So your device will constantly swap between your storage and your memory. When you disable RAM Plus, it's only going to use your memory and it's no longer going to rely on your UFS storage. This will reduce your thermals a little bit and this will also extend your battery life as well because now there's not this swapping going back and forth between your onboard storage and your memory. So go ahead and give it a try and see if this improves your battery life by turning off RAM Plus. For this next tip, we're still in device care. This time we're gonna tap on battery and we have power saving. Go ahead and tap on the power saving text and we can go ahead and enable power saving. And that gives us a bunch of sub options here too, like to turn on dark mode, turn off our always on display, limit our CPU speed. So you can pick and choose which of these you wanna enable or disable for conserving battery anymore. By leaving all of these options on, this is probably gonna conserve the most amount of battery compared to all the other tips that we're gonna cover in this video. This will make a huge impact, but it will also make an impact on your performance. But when you're really low on juice, it's really nice to enable this to help preserve enough battery life to get you through the rest of the day. For this next tip, while we're still in our settings, head over to modes and routines, then go into routines, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a routine that says when my device gets to 30% and below, I want power saving mode to automatically turn on. And when I put my device back on the charger and get it back up past 30%, power saving mode is going to automatically turn back off. So we're in routines. We're going to create a new routine. And our if condition is going to be if battery level dips down below 30%. All right. And then our then condition, we have power saving. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. So now what we have is when our device hits 30%, we're gonna turn power saving on. And when the routine ends, we can take a look at what it's gonna do. It's going to return the power saving status to what it was before the routine started, which in our case is off. So we'll go ahead and hit done. We're gonna save it. It's gonna prompt us to give it a name. And there we go. We have a new automatic routine set up so now when my Z Fold 7 drops below 30%, power saving mode will automatically turn on. When it gets above 30%, it's gonna turn back off. For this next tip, while you're in settings, head over to display, and then we have dark mode and light mode. I highly recommend for saving battery to put your device into dark mode. So you have a dynamic AMOLED 2X panel on your Z Fold 7. And the way these OLED panels work is all the black pixels you see on your screen they're not lit up at all. They're not consuming any electricity. They're not being powered. It's only the pixels that you see, the ones that illuminate any type of color, like this white text and our blue right here. These are the ones that are being lit up and these are the ones that are consuming electricity. So when we switch over to light mode, we are now using a lot more battery than when we're over in dark mode. So if you're looking to conserve battery life, if that's your main goal, dark mode's gonna help you out.
For this next tip, while we're also in our display settings, this should go without saying, but it does make a huge difference. If you scroll down, you have screen timeout, and the lower you can set this number and get by with, the better. I leave it on for a long duration because I'm doing videos here on YouTube, but if I'm looking to save battery life, knock this down to 30 or 15 seconds. That way your screen turns off. That's gonna help save a little bit of battery life throughout the day every time you wrap up the usage of your device. For this next tip, while you're in your settings still, scroll down until you get to lock screen and always on display, AOD. And then what you wanna do is turn always on display off. Now, I know it's really nice to always have your display going with your phone off a little bit, but this does consume a lot of battery power, especially if you're using a wallpaper. So if you can get by without it, turning the always on display will help preserve battery life. This next tip isn't so obvious, but it does make a difference throughout the day. And that is if you can get by with it, try to use as dark of a wallpaper as possible. So this is one of the default wallpapers for Samsung. And as you can see, this one isn't too dark at all. This is going to consume quite a bit of battery power. So if we go in here and we pick out another wallpaper, something like this is more like it. You see how we mostly got black with just a little bit of this translucent type look here. This isn't gonna consume near as much power as this one here. And by default, your Z Fold 7 really isn't gonna come with many dark wallpapers. But what you can do is you can go down here and we have from Galaxy Themes, go ahead and hit that arrow real quick, and then you can get more wallpapers. And this will take you out to the Galaxy Themes, which is basically part of the Galaxy Store. And you can pick out a lot of darker theme wallpapers from here. And if you go over to top, you can hit this all button and you can pick free. And go ahead and pick out a few free ones. We got plenty of dark ones right here. This will help conserve your battery power throughout the day. And don't forget to switch it for both your cover screen and your main screen. For this next tip, while we're still on our settings, we're gonna scroll down until we get to device care again. All right, then we're gonna go over to battery. And then we are going to go to background usage limits. You wanna make sure that put unused apps to sleep is always enabled. What this is gonna do is this is gonna constantly monitor your background usage of apps. And those that don't get used in quite some time are gonna get put into sleeping and deep sleep mode. So if you keep this on, That'll keep these apps from reaching out to the internet, running as background services. It puts them completely to sleep. So they're just kind of temporarily disabled on your device until you go to use them again. This will definitely help conserve battery power throughout the day. This next tip kind of goes without saying, but if you have a Z Fold device, try to use the cover screen as often as you can instead of the main display. This is literally half the size of your main display, so it's going to consume less power. I think this goes without saying, but naturally, if you're on the front cover screen more often than you are on the main display, you are gonna help preserve battery life. For this next tip, we're back in our settings. We're gonna go back to device care. All right, here we go. We're gonna go into battery, and then we have battery protection. So here's my take on this feature. If you're the type of person that plans on keeping your device for several years to come, you wanna turn battery protection on, and I would also turn on adaptive protection. So what this is gonna do is this is going to charge up to 80%, and this will keep it to where you're not doing a full charge on your device every day, and this will help prolong the battery life throughout the life of your device. However, if you're the type of person that likes to upgrade every year to two years, I would personally turn this completely off or turn this off and just leave basic mode on. This will charge it up to 100%, then it'll back off the charging until it drops down to 95%, and it'll kind of keep it topped off at that level. Or even better yet, just turn battery protection all the way off. This is if you know for sure you're gonna be trading your device in. You don't care about the long-term health of your battery, you're trying to get the most battery from a day-to-day -day basis. So this will definitely help with that. For this next tip, if you're trying to squeeze out every little bit of battery life that you can, head over to Sound and Vibrations and turn off Vibrate While Typing. And then you wanna to go to each one of these settings that has vibration in the name, and you'll go to the top, and there's gonna be a silent option. So this will reduce the vibrations that are happening. The vibration haptic motors won't be engaged. Uh, this will help conserve a little bit of battery life. For this next tip, while we're still in our settings, let's go over to modes and routines. And then we have this discover tab. So once you get over here, you can scroll down a little bit. All right, we're almost here. 
Here we go. We have a whole section dedicated to battery. And there's some already predefined routines in here to help you save battery life. Let's take a look at this one, for example. Save battery when phone is closed. So what happens is, is when the folding status on your Z Fold 7 is closed and the battery level is below 5%, it's going to turn the motion smoothness from 120 hertz adaptive to standard, which is down to 60 hertz. And when it's done, it'll re-enable our adaptive refresh rate. And what's cool is you can use these routines as a starting point and go ahead and edit them to adjust it further. So this gives you a nice starting point of how these routines work, and then you can further customize it from here. All right, for these next two tips, we're still in our settings. We're gonna go down to display, and then we have adaptive brightness. So if you have this on, what's gonna happen is when you're outside, your Z Fold 7 and many other Galaxy devices are gonna crank up to their maximum available brightness. In this case, 2600 nits. And you can only accomplish that by having adaptive brightness on. So if you turn adaptive brightness off and just adjust your brightness manually, you will potentially conserve the most amount of battery life. It really depends on your usage and how often you're outdoors. Otherwise, with adaptive brightness on, it's going to continuously adjust. And most of the time, it's going to overcompensate. You know, most of you don't really need your phone up that bright. So I personally keep adaptive brightness off. I keep my brightness down to a minimum, even lower than this when I'm not doing YouTube videos. And believe me, the brightness on your screen, especially when using this main inner display right here, is going to make a huge difference on your overall battery life throughout the day. So definitely consider this option. The other option we have here for our next tip is motion smoothness. So we have two options here. We have adaptive and standard. So adaptive is gonna dynamically adjust the refresh rate on your panels all the way up to 120 hertz. Whereas standard is gonna keep it static at 60 hertz. Cause when you're in adaptive mode and you're like scrolling up and down like this, this is what causes your refresh rate to go up to 120 hertz. And then it kind of idles down when you're done. And it's constantly having to monitor and check for this. When it's in standard mode, it no longer cares. You're just stuck at 60 hertz and it will help conserve a little bit of battery life. Okay, these last two tips to help conserve battery life even more are kind of buried in the settings a little bit. We're gonna scroll down again until we get to device care. Where is that at? Here we go. And then we're gonna go over to battery. And then we wanna go into background usage limits. And then we have this three dot menu and there's gonna be adaptive battery. Extend battery life based on your phone usage. You wanna make sure this is turned on. This is gonna to get to know your usage patterns. And don't worry, this is on by default, but you might wanna come here and check to make sure it is turned on. And this will help extend your battery life by better understanding your usage patterns and keeping certain apps loaded and certain ones closed out based on that. And for our final tip, back in the battery menu of device care, we have power saving. We'll go in there and then we have the three dot menu here as well. Adaptive power saving, this is pretty cool. So what this will do is turn power saving on and off automatically based on your usage patterns. So if you're not a power user and most of the time you're just casually using your phone, it will automatically put power saving mode on. If it notices you're ramping up your usage, let's say you go to edit a video or you start a multitasking session with multiple applications open, it will go ahead and disable power saving mode and it will do this in the background automatically for you. This is where you can enable that. Right, if you have any questions or comments, or if you happen to have any other cool battery saving tips that you want to share with viewers, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.